That was a very clever little shot there as well from Nasushin. Good control on that. We've got another upset brewing, Ted, already. Indonesia. Out quickly. Two to nil. Over the powerful German team. Yeah, they had the, uh, the misfortune of having a little opportunity, not able to do anything with it. So they just have to sit and watch their opponents clean up. And of course, they stay on these guys. You win the rack, you break. And if your break is on fire, you can keep your opponents rooted in their chairs for a long, long time. Or a short time, because the match could be over in, a, in well, about 30 minutes. <laughs> Don't say that to these guys too loudly. Yeah, it can be a cruel format, the winner breaks. Thank you, right three. Indonesia to break. Well, I'm sure right you've seen matches where somebody's had to go home without even having the chance of making a mistake. Well, Lu Hai Tao in the Whirlpool Masters lost to eventual winner Shane Van Boning, 8 to nil. He had one shot in the entire match. <laughs> and Shane ran him out the door. Sushin. Spreading the balls all over the place, but nothing dropping. Now that is unfortunate, a dry break, and you've spread the balls like that. That's not good. Yeah, you've got to make a ball on the break, and uh, it was a decent shot, a breakout, because he had a shot on the one, but nothing down. So Germany now with a very nice spread of balls. What do you say about those shirts of Team Germany? Aren't they nice? Impressive. Helps us identify who they are as well. Well, that's coming prepared, isn't it? Fully coordinated. But you saw what this table had left on that dry break, and you thought, yeah, things are going to change quickly again. Yeah, they're already looking ahead to the uh, the six and the seven. You know, the balls that are going to need position. Yeah, with a spread like this, they've got it all mapped out. Owen's got just enough angle here to do what he needs to do. A lot of communication between these two. Well, they're great friends, and they've played together on many occasions. Of course, whenever they go to tournaments around the world, they hang out together, practice together. And over the top of that black eight here. And making it look simple now. This is the shot. Seven on to eight. Shouldn't be a problem. He's just got to make sure to hit it at the right speed so he gets position yeah. for the seven again. Yeah, you don't want that seven going walk about off the back of this, do you? That's what he's got to make sure of. Well, that'll do it. As soon as I saw that dry break, Ted, you knew where this one was going. Yeah, the balls are spread apart really nicely. So this will be a this will be the first point on the board for Germany. Uh, 
Again, Nick, how important is the break? It is the most important part of nine ball. They didn't get any luck on theirs, the Indonesians. If they just had a ball drop there, they'd be looking at 3-0, but it came up dry. There was a good spread, and it's game on now. 2-1 Indonesia leading, but Germany mounting the charge. Getting on the board. Let's see what happens here. Dry break for the Indonesians last time. And well, you're uh, going to get the same yeah. thing from the Germans here. Wow, and they've left a shot on. That's a mirror image of what we just saw in the last rack. Wow, and the Indonesians with a big chance here to put a halt to any comeback by the Germans. I like the way the Indonesians are playing. Uh, Ursal and uh, Mohammed are uh, nice pace. Don't seem nervous at all. Seem like they've gotten used to the table, and they're very much in the game here. And they have been around the block. This is not new territory for them. This is an ideal spread, Nick. Yeah, really. Uh oh, that's not ideal. That's not ideal at all. How many times do we see this in this tournament so far? Players running out of position and yeah. uh, it's, it's very hard to get back into position once you run out of position. Now this uh, Cue ball might do some traveling. So it'll be a safety shot. And they didn't want to have to give up the table. Well, they've let the Germans back on, but they haven't given up too much, have they? All Suke can do here is really try and get safe. He's trying to marry it up to that eight ball, and that does not go well at all for Ralph. Oh, and really? you can see him hang his head. He tried to hide the cue ball Start the clock. behind the eight. And he's left it wide open. And this this is a big opportunity right here for Indonesia to not just get the point, but to get build more confidence. Well, this is a tricky one. Lasusha, not the biggest guy in the world. So he's going to get the, uh, the extension to the end of his queue. But if he makes this and gives his partner position, this rack is history. Well, they've definitely found their groove here, and uh, Germany has certainly not. Well, the only rack, let's just remind ourselves, Ted, the only rack the Germans have picked up came off the bad luck of a dry break from the Indonesians. But it looks like that two-rack cushion is about to be re-established here. And it's a winner breaks format, so Indonesia will be breaking after these two balls get deposited. Nicely stroked. And Nasushin can put this one away for 3-1 in this race to seven. And a little bit of a headache developing here for the number nine seeds. Okay. I'm not really told me last time, so that's why I kept going.
Well, here is what they're playing for. The Koreans staggered through. England A against Australia coming up next. And the other surprise, the Romanians who came through qualifying and have really built up some momentum in that qualifying tournament. They blew away China 7-4. They await the winners of this one. And I wonder if the bookies are changing and evaluating once again the odds they had on this one because Germany were the short price favourites. But could we have a Romania-Indonesia battle in round two? Absolutely, why not? Thank you, rack five. Indonesia to break. Leading three racks to one. One of the, one of the lessons I get, Nick, from covering the sport, and I was just in... Uh, Doha, Qatar for the World Nine Ball Championship. The level of talent in the sport of nine ball is just astounding what it was a few years ago. They come from all corners of the globe, from countries that you would not normally think, you know, would be traditional pool playing nations. And they just come one after the next. And so you just never know these days. Now three down here one little meld to be dealt with and the green six has been uh, pushed up at the top of the table so it's not a a walk through the park this particular rack right. Romania is a perfect example of what I just said uh, there's players from Mexico and wait till we see you see our Peruvian players later the South American players can really play good pool. I have to admit to that Peru thing was news to me. I didn't know Peru was producing pool Extension players. Call. Well, a lot of these players don't just play in Peru. You know, they play, they come to the U.S. and they travel around. And uh, uh, there was a good player from Mexico in the World Nine Ball Championship. You know, he spent two months in the Philippines. And these guys go all around the world now playing. All right, now, Germany has to get it together now because they are down three to one. This table's still not easy. Yeah. Well, looks like the seven ball, Nick, the only pocket that that would go appears to be the side pocket, mm. and there's going to be position on the six. Unless they can break up that cluster, that 7-9 cluster. Well, first, you've got to put a ball down. And at the moment, Torsten Homan's eye not quite in. They're just not getting themselves going. Not getting easy shots to play with either at the moment. They don't have the feel. Indonesia has the feel. I tell you, if they clean up this table, Ted, that's really going to give them some self-belief because this is not a gimme table, but if they do it, they're 4-1. They're going to have to make some good shots here to get rid of these five balls. This is one of the easier ones. So they've got position on the six, but can they break up? That's 7-9. Or can they get position on it? As you said, Ted, that uh, side pocket is available. 